uh, you know, that it's time to, uh, you know, uh, basically stop the force. I mean, his, his great fear is uh, the election of Trump. I'm not partisan. I'm just following what's going on. I'm right. very concerned that we saw great signs of manipulation of the vote during a primary. So you can imagine what's going to happen in the general election. And I think Hillary Clinton shouldn't be so happy about things like hundreds of thousands of provisional ballots being thrown away and stuff, you know what I mean? Because she's going to have to be fighting that. Uh, she's going to be fighting three million provisional ballots which are going to go in the garbage in November. I'm very concerned that there was just great disregard for uh, a fair count of the vote in the primary. And so it's not a matter of whether Bernie did win or should have won or whatever. It's a question of I'm very worried about what's happening with uh, the Democratic Party's own respect for elections and counting the vote, because now those people that they pissed on, they're going to ask for their votes now. And that's, I think, going to be a big problem. Greg Ballas. Yes. Okay. Nice to meet you, Greg. Where are you from? I'm from Bowling Green, Ohio. Bowling Green, Ohio. Oh, wait. All the way here. Why? And every, frankly, every uh, white guy I spoke to was for Bernie first and Trump second. Yeah, yeah. Are you, are you feeling that in the No. Um, I, I've tried to serve myself as like-minded folks. Uh, and uh, we're, re we're really committed to Bernie and the movement. Um, and folks are going to vote for Jill Stein. Uh -huh. There's going to be an exit from the Democratic Party. Well, what about the, the statement that if you do that, you're going to elect Trump? Especially in Ohio. Uh, I think people see this as a political statement. And more than just an election, it's our time to make it known that we're not going to be complicit in a corrupt system anymore. Hmm. That's very interesting. What's corrupt about Hillary? <laughs> well, I'm asking. <laughs> um, well, she represents the establishment. Um, more specifically, um, the DNC leaks um, were just a very clear window into the inner operatings of the Democratic Party and how favoritism was clearly shown uh, to the establishment candidate. Uh, I was fascinated. They had my emails in there that they somehow... <laughs> Yeah, I was in the DNC pile. Yeah, I was in the WikiLeaks pile. It was like all kinds of stuff. So, um, but uh, I'm always fascinated by that. I always assume my stuff is red, so I just don't bother. But the, the real, I mean, the question is, um, what is so dangerous about a Hillary Clinton administration? Or what is the thing about the Donald Trump administration versus Hillary Clinton? Mm -hmm. What would it make? Would it make a difference to you? One way or the other. Um, would it make a difference? No. In my mind, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump represent the same Wall Street interests, the same corrupt system uh, that has gotten us into Iraq. Uh, the same corrupt system uh, that um, the bank collapses in 2008 were built on. Um, and Barack Obama came into office promising hope and change and put into uh, into his cabinet and, and in his advisory all the same people who caused that collapse. Uh, and Hillary Clinton is just a continuation of that. By the way, if you ever want to give Greg Palace documents, I will never say that you, my source, ought to be in prison. <laughs> I will go to prison instead of you. I promise you. So go to gregpalace.com if you got something really hot with documents, with tapes, you name it. Come to me, gregpalace.com. All right. That's very interesting uh, that you're saying that Obama was also part of that uh, crew now because Bernie Sanders keeps thanking Obama. Do you think that that's well, politics or is he really grateful?